Hi everyone, it's Crappy Kathy here with a um, flip through of a tag book I made using the uh, tag book uh, packets from four different Vicki Booten uh, collections. And you'll probably recognize them as we go along. There's Sugar Rush, uh, Storyteller, um, uh, Let's Wander, and maybe uh, Color Study or Color Kaleidoscope. And I've embellished with even more collections, uh, but all uh, Vicki Booten supplies. So this is uh, is for my sister. It uh, is capturing memories of uh, recent visits, the one we made when we scattered John's ashes uh, back in June of 2021, and we stopped by to see her twice. And then when she and I went to a baseball game in Houston in April of this year, and then when um, I went for her birthday in September of this year. So I, um, I was planning to uh, take this. I hadn't, I hadn't finished it completely um, and so wasn't really ready to share it. Uh, I was gonna take it uh, later uh, this month, but she has become seriously ill and I'm going to leave tomorrow to go see her. So I wanted to run through the flip through uh, kind of for my own purposes so that I have um, um, a memory of the, the book. I've spent quite a bit of time on it and I love it and I hope she will. But a couple of you had mentioned that you'd like to see the book when I'm done with it. So this is that. I'm just going to kind of flip through. There's not a lot of journaling anywhere and nothing, um, the words and sentiments that are on the stickers and some of the components don't necessarily relate to anything, but they'll all be things that she'll love. This says, hello. Um, this little bit says happiness. There's this camera here. I don't have anything in there and that's okay. Um, on the cover is a photo of me and Patrice standing right in front of a, uh, a larger than life size um, poster of Rick Springfield that my brother and sister-in-law got for her um, door in, in the apartment. That this is the door to her, her bedroom. And so I've surrounded that with a, a diamond shaped frame. And I think she'll love that. It's just a special memory. This is uh, Katie and me with Patrice on the Kokomo tour, the tour where we scattered John's ashes. This is James and uh, me and Patrice on that same tour. These little bits are just fun little shaker pockets that are just decorations. Uh, on that same tour, after we left Patrice, we went to Houston and went to a, a baseball game, and she saw this photo on my phone, and that's where she said she really wanted to go to an Astros game. So that's when I took her um, in April of this year when the season opened. That's Katie and Allie and me at the game. This is a photo of all the kids and me with Patrice. There's Allie, Barrett, Patrice, me. That's Ava in her um, ducking her head with her hoodie on phase and Katie Bug. And then when we left, we went to um, Kima, which is um, uh, where um, Clear Lake feeds into Galveston Bay. And this is a place that uh, we scattered some ashes because John, because John and I used to go sailing right past there. And we're at a restaurant where James used to work. So we'd pass by and wave at him and all of his customers. This is a little pocket that has a photo from Pensacola, James and the kids. This is a photo of us at our favorite barbecue restaurant that Patrice has been to many times. And this is the whole gang at, on the beach at Pensacola. And so those are just kind of tucked in there. 
Um, another picture from Kima, and this is looking back at the bridge, and we live just at, at a marina just on the other side of that bridge while James was finishing up high school. This is a picture that I took of Patrice. It's one of my favorite photos of her, and that was taken in April of this year when I took her back home. These are some photos of Ava uh, in her homecoming dance dress. And then I put some stickers back there. I'm not going to take this picture out. We can kind of look through the globe there. That was on the Kokomo tour. It was at the beach. And then this is a picture of me with Barrett uh, on senior night um, just uh, about a month ago, I'd say. And then some bits here. This is cute. This is another Kokomo tour picture of um, uh, Katie, Allie, and Barrett with Patrice. And this is a photo of a house that she visited many times. We drove by and took a photo of it. That's in Pecan Grove, uh, Texas, in the Richmond-Rosenberg area. And she'll remember this very well. We used to sit out there on the, on the porch, and we also went out on the balcony. She liked going up to the loft and coming out on the balcony. And it's overlooking the uh, 13th hole on the golf course. And here she's overlooking the city of Houston skyline uh, from our hotel. This is, I, I cut it round so it could go on here, but it's a, uh, um, a mixed media mayhem scrapbook page I made in Astro's colors with a photo of me and Patrice with Mickey Mouse. And you'll see that photo later. Here she is sitting with this little monkey that she named Alvarez after her favorite player, who is Jordan Alvarez, and I'll show you uh, him in a minute. That's when we were sitting in the, in the stadium. And here we're at, oh my goodness, I, this has blurred. I'm going to have to put a label on top of that. I've got some labels I can do. I need to put that out. My, I didn't realize the ink would blur. This is on the back of photo paper. It, it's the back of this photo, and I didn't think the ink would run, so I will fix that. This, in, I put this so that she and, and the, uh, and her little uh, stuffed uh, Alvarez are looking up, she's showing Alvarez to her Rick Springfield poster, and that was in April of this year. And here we have just a beautiful big smile from Patrice sitting across from me at uh, a restaurant when we were on that visit. And then I did, I used portrait mode on my phone at the right after I took that photo, and I took this one, another big beautiful smile. So this feather had this tag or tab label on it, and I just wrote Patrice's name, and she will love that. She'll recognize that. She doesn't read, but once somebody else reads her what these things say, like here's the whole story, she'll remember it, and she'll go through and say, here's the whole story, and today. And this is the cutest little gumball machine shaker. Um, this is sitting on the big baseball that's outside the Astro Stadium. And here's a photo of her uh, with the down the Houston skyline back behind her. And here is a view, that's the George Brown Convention Center, and I have an arrow pointing to the Astro Stadium, and this was the view from our hotel. So she was all excited to see the the roof of the stadium and then when we were in the stadium they uh opened up the roof there's a, a selfie that we took um on our walk down from the hotel to the stadium and this is outside a, a starbucks that's on the on the uh, highway between houston and um louisiana where she lives and this is the Starbucks that John and I stopped at every time we went to visit her. Uh, we That was our stop and where we had breakfast. So it was our favorite Starbucks. It's a nice big one and and we kind of got to know the people that worked in there. So she and I stopped, had to stop there at, 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 uh, at John's favorite Starbucks. 
here she is um, looking up. There's a life-size poster with a lot of statistics about Jordan Alvarez, who is the player who hit uh, the, the who made the um, the winning run in the World Series, and she stood stood right up there so that she could take a, a picture right up next to this poster of him. And then here she and I are with the uh, the Mickey Mouse statue, and I just kind of wrote a few things there and just used ephemera and colorful stickers and so forth. This was an art exhibit. This is a, um, um, I'm, I'm losing, uh, uh, Du Buffet, Jean Du Buffet, uh, did this sculpture as a gift to the city of Houston. And it used to be in a different place, but they've moved it on this road that we had to take from the hotel down to the stadium. So she really was fascinated by that. And I got a photo, this is on backwards and I will have to fix that too. But um, I, I, she walked inside, you could actually walk through one of the little openings and she walked inside there. This I left plain because I love how these butterflies look against this um, tab. Then that kind of changes to another trip. This was when I went, took her to Avery Island uh, for her birthday on a trip that was in September of this year. And here there was this card with the heart-shaped sunglasses and she's, this photo, she's wearing heart-shaped sunglasses and holding a little stuffed alligator that we got at Avery Island. And these are beautiful. She wanted me to take a picture of the bamboo, the giant bamboo that was at the, um, uh, in the grounds around the um, uh, Tabasco factory. And then I, I put a few um, photos that are not particularly exciting uh, in just v views from Avery Island, which she will remember. And then there's this cute little thing. And she loved the skeletons. They had started decorating for Halloween and right outside the gift shop, there was this skeleton and this one. And she asked me to take photos of her with that. And there's this little butterfly. I'm not sure I put anything. Yeah, but it was a happy birthday trip, September 22. There's a selfie we took under this big spreading uh, oak tree there. She wanted to pose by all the old cars that were in the, um, uh, in, on, on the grounds there. There's this little, uh, this is from Let's Wander, the little magnifying glass. And then there's the Say Cheese and some other stickers that were, this was just one of the cards that was in there. I didn't have anything in particular to put on there. Um, this little thing was from Sugar Rush, the Sugar Rush kit. And it was meant for journaling, obviously. Well, I took a sticker that says Life Captured and put an arrow and the arrow matches the um, camera that's there and just kind of made like a little little scene. And then it the arrow seems to be pointing for you to look at this photo, which is, it's this bear frequenting area, warning do not feed or approach. And so I, when I took the photo, she acted like she was scared. So that was great. So I put yikes there and then there's a little slide in here. This is a photo of the um, Tabasco peppers growing in the greenhouse. And then this is sugarcane out on the road. The, uh, New Iberia, where she lives, is the sugarcane capital of the, of the world. And then here she's making a, a funny face uh, as though the fish kind of following on uh, this one where she's acting like she's scared of that there are bears around. Uh, here she's acting like she's scared of the fish. And then I have some kind of at home um, pictures of the family. And this is Ava and Allie and their mom, Nikki, and Katie and her mom, uh, Katie and Barrett's mom, Pam. And then who's taking the selfie is Katie and, and Barrett's uh, half-brother, Lyndon. 
but he he didn't make the picture. <laughs> and then this is Pam, uh, Barrett's mom, pointing to his um, big poster that was on the fence around the stadium. And this is Katie and Allie by the same poster, all acting silly. And then, of course, I had to include a picture of the crazy dog, Reese. And then here's a picture of James and uh, Allie and Katie on their way out to a concert. And then here is senior night. The group that walked through the arch was Allie, I mean, Ava, Katie, ba uh, James, Barrett, his mom, Pam, and Lyndon. And I was taking the photo. And then later we got somebody else to take a photo of me with Barrett. And that's a picture of him on a different night. But Patrice saw that on my phone and she said, oh, I want one of those pictures. So I printed her one. This one is of Katie um, doing my hair. I'm taking a picture of her, you know, holding her hair dryer and, and um, uh, brush like uh, 007 there. And these are some photos from Thanksgiving. You've probably seen all of most, if not all, of these on 12 by 12 scrapbook pages, but this is for Patrice. And I ended it on the back cover. I put this with the same frame from the same uh, collection as I put on the front. Uh, I, I put this picture of James acting silly and Katie and Reese because she absolutely adores James. Of course, she watched him grow up from a tiny baby, and she remembers that. And in fact, she she holds memories of people as babies, and so such that she refers to Barrett as Baby Barrett. And then also on the back, I put this little thing that says today. And then I tied a whole bunch of ribbons to kind of keep the front and the back separated. And so now I'm going to go find that one that's smeared, and I will fix that off camera. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time I do anything. And I'll kind of keep you all posted as to how, how she is. They're doing some tests, and, uh, but I want to get down there as soon as I can. It takes me two days to drive, so I need to start tomorrow morning. Thanks for watching. Bye.